love throwing insults at you and, and uh, offering uh, condescending comments. Uh, they love to talk down toward you. Do you find that hooking you and getting you pulled in uh, when you're on the receiving end of that? Sometimes they'll, uh, they'll ask loaded questions. Well, why don't you tell me what, what prompted you to come up with this? Or what were you hoping to accomplish? And you know as they're asking these questions, they're looking for all sorts of weaknesses in your logic. And when they spot them, which inevitably they will, they're going to jump on you. And before you know <laughs> it, it you right. get caught they up will. in all of the stupid. agitation that goes with that. Your shit logic is what it's Sometimes saying, so. they may be seductive. It could be that they'll promise future benefits. Hey, look, if you go along with me, it's going to work out really well. And then you do, and it's like, oh, they're not they're not interested in things going out well. They were just using me for their temporal gain. Or sometimes they may be complimentary. You know, you're, you're a fine person. Now come, do my bidding for me. And as you do, then later on you realize it was all fool's gold. That's not what they think, but they, they're willing to manipulate me in that way. They have their different ways of setting their hooks with you. Sometimes these narcissistic individuals will hook you by shunning you and going into the harsh punishing withdrawal uh, kind of treatment. And it's their way of saying, I've got to get you to do what I want you to do. And if that works, okay. And sometimes you fall for it. And it's like, oh, I can't stand it when they do that to me. And it's like, yeah, I know. That's why I did it. Or they'll, uh, they may hook you by gaslighting you. Uh, keeping in mind that gaslighting is their uh, tactic where they try to keep PTSD. you confused about your interpretations. Like, did, did that really happen? Or are you sure you remember that correctly? And before you know it, you let go of your sense of resolve. And that's what they're looking for. Uh, they simply want to create ongoing flustered feelings inside of you. And, uh, and the more you're over there just thinking... I don't know what to do. This bothers me. This uh, this just uh, gets under my skin so much. Uh, as long as they keep you dysregulated, then that's their hook, and that's their way to try to keep power over you. And before you know it, you're becoming a person that you don't want to be. Now, if you've been around a narcissist for any length of time, <laughs> whether it's the person you live with or someone inside your extended family or work or social circles or wherever, you know that they'll play these bait, and bait games all day long. And, and part of your intention and your frustration is in knowing that it's just it going to keep It looks like coming. I'm seething. It's so because I'm baiting you. how can you. we keep you from taking the bait? We know that they're going to be the way they are, but how are you going to respond in such a way that says, mm -mm, I, I don't want to do that anymore? First, uh, and I, I have five points here I want to uh, go over with you. Only five. Uh, point number five one, thousand. I want you to recognize how predictable these people are. Uh, you can look back on your engagements with these narcissistic individuals, and you can say, you know, this is not the first time they tried to hook me through Bro. insults or shame. They cannot be manipulative and predictable, all right? It's contradicting. Ready, come on, 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 come on,